Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Man, I just love the weather in this game. Just the rain, it's just... Oh my goodness. Anyway, I could s spend hours just recording this just so I can watch it back later, basically. Let's actually go onto this island and get some stuff done. I believe it wants us to actually use this stump here to get up further. Probably. Now, there might also be a... a blue chew here, unless it's just not. We should... I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't. But I've seen more than I thought I would see, so... Hey, look at that, blue chew. It's gonna get rid of you, and let's head on up. Because up here in this cave is something that we need to be able to progress, so this is required. Okay, this place is interesting. We have these pots that we've only seen in the dungeons, but also it's a bit interesting because they connect to each other, and we have these floor masters here that we need to take out because they're going to be annoying. But we uh, have multiple po uh, pots to choose from, and of course that means that they are actually, this is actually a maze. We have to pick the right pots. Otherwise, we'll just get to be sent back to the beginning. Apparently that one was a correct one. A correct one, not the correct one, but a correct, wo correct one. Now, let me, I don't think it's that one. I think it's the one on the left, left, left? left. Also, apparently that just breaks if I throw it at the thing like that. And wrong. Cool. Have to go back every through every single time we m get it wrong. So, it's gonna be a little bit. But this is gonna be helpful, so. Very helpful. We can also use the uh, fire arrows to open up these pots. If you leave the covers on all, all the ones that you haven't used, it means it's easier to figure out which ones you have still to test out. Now I feel like this is just here to trick me, and I should use this one, right? I feel like I might be wrong about that though. There's also a pot down there that we haven't gone through, that we could possibly go through. Nope, that was the wrong one. Great. Just great. Because there are also two treasure chests in here that we need to get. So we have to go two different paths through this maze. I think I'm just going to roll past you. <laughs> they can pick up the pots and throw them at me. Wow. I wouldn't want a pot to be thrown at me in real life if they're that big. Okay, um, I might just take you out, I guess. Now, let's guess. That one? Surely. Surely this one. Surely. Yes. Okay, cool. Don't grab me now. Don't grab me now. I'm at the end. There we go. Okay, reward number one. Is the ghost ship chart. Check your charts on the map screen to view it. So now, if we go to that, on here somewhere, it's probably... There. We can see, depending on the moon phase, which will be glowing, or changing from yellow to blue, on here, which island the ghost ship is currently at. So it's currently at five star... Isle, I guess. I don't, I don't know what the actual name is for it. But we can see all of the ones that it goes to. But anyway, we need to go find the next treasure. I don't know. I don't think I can take any shortcuts here, which is unfortunate for me. Because I don't think any of this is able to be hookshotted to. Unless I can hookshot down to there. I wonder... Oh, I guess you could just... No. No. You can't do that. Oh, hello. But anyway, we need to go through here anyway. Not up there. 
And where is this actually going to take me? Up here. That's interesting. Okay. Let's grab that. Joy pendant. Okay, it's not that important, but still. It's a joy pendant. If you don't have enough by this point, you could get one there. Also, can I, by any chance, hop down here and take a shortcut? It's, it's not really that much of a shortcut, but it's still technically a shortcut. It's probably not faster, though. Just because I took a little bit to get into it. But it's better than having to see the cutscene of you going through a pot twice. But anyway, I think that's everything on this island. Unless there's a submarine or... Actually, there is something over there by the looks of it. Judging by the amount of seagulls over there. So let's go take a look at that. If I can find my boat. There it is. Perfect jump. This is my favorite island because you always get that perfect jump into the boat. I'm pretty sure you do at least. I think I have. But anyway, let's go over here and Big Octo. Come on, the correct button please. How many eyes does it have? One, two, three, four, five. That's just this side. Six. Seven. Eight. Is this eight eyes? I think it's eight eyes. Yeah, it's eight. But it's no match for us with a cannon because we can just take out its eyes in one one hit one hit each. Unless I just aim with my Z target and just shoot it with my bow. And just like that, there's another one down. I wish it would mark the big octos that we've seen and also taken out on our chart, but I guess that's a little bit too kind for a Zelda game. I not nah, mm, maybe. If I was designing this, <laughs> I'd make it a lot easier than it currently is to figure out things. How did I miss this? Also, what happens if you don't grab this and just leave? Probably bad things happen to you. Mostly regret. Um, let me go away a bit so I can reappear. Wow. I should have worked. Pretty sure. Okay, stop. Go. There we go. First try. Definitely was first try. Definitely wasn't anything else than that. Orange rupee. Okay, so that's not that important, but still. I'm quite pleased with this big octo cleaned up. Because I have to 100% the entire universe. Again, it's interesting. Oh, you can also see some of the constellations in the sky now. Somewhat. This isn't the best angle, but still. Um, I'm gonna get that fish first, I think. We're in the very bottom left of the map. This is cleaning up a lot faster than I thought it would. Particularly because I'm doing this from memory. Hey! 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 Treasure. Also, sea hats. Go fast. Sea hat, go away, please. I'm... I'm treasure hunting. He's just part of the island now. And we get a silver rupee worth 200. Very nice. Now, where is that fish? Right there. Okay. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. And I'll try to avoid the sea hats if I can. Hoist small fry. Horseshoe Island. On the island due east of here lives an old man who was once a master swordsman. He's got proof of it too. He has a knight's crest. Want to know what the thing is? That thing is, Fry? Well, too bad. I can't go giving away every secret. And that's all the info I've got to offer. So there we go. Master Swordsman on outset, possibly having something special for us. Also, what's with the... 
the guy looking out to sea. What's with the guy looking out to sea? I'm concerned now. But anyway, let's just get off over here, please. And not get attacked by sea hats. And we need... Uh... Deca leaf. So let's equip that. To the only button I can ever equip it to. The X button. Okay. So now, we have these nuts again. And we can't actually... Go through. Because of these vines. Until we get the nut into the hole. Which means it's time to play golf. With the nuts. Please get in. Yes. I'm brilliant at this. Hole in one. Kind of. Ah. Oh my gosh. That scared me. Oh wow. I have to get that in there from here. Oh that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Oh it worked. How did I roll in the cutscene? I guess that's just a frame perfect thing you can do, I guess. Probably. Probably. But anyway, let me see what this guy has to say. Is there seagulls? Oh, so beautiful. Incredibly beautiful. I'm so glad I brought, bought this Kaylee Oedo scope. I don't know what that means. I think that just means that he's looking out to sea and is very happy with himself. Oh, hello. You're kind of terrifying, aren't you? What just broke? Did he break something? I think he broke something. Also, I should probably go in this hole before getting the treasure chest. Just because otherwise I can't get back to this hole quickly. Now, oh, hello. Let me just... Ah! Let me just destroy everything here real quick. <gasps> oh my gosh. It pushed me out of the way at least, though. I was trying to be on top of it, though. Right in the middle of where it spawns. I wanted it to spawn inside me, or um, around me. Hey, treasure chart. We should probably check that out to see where that leads us. 44. Okay, one of the triangle aisles. Oh, hey. Number eight, one of the fairy islands. Looks like that one, which means we have to go up north again. And is that everything? I think so. Cool. Oh, onward and upward, apparently, because we can go into the light and just float up. I love the, the, the logic, the Zelda logic, that classic Zelda logic. Now, let me go through there with the hookshot and find out what this is. And I'm betting either a piece of heart or another map? Tre tre treasure chart? Yeah, another treasure chart. It was unlikely to be a piece of heart, but I, I can't judge it, apparently, very well. One, two, nope. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen... 2022, 20, 23, 28. Hey, needlepoint. Cool. Well, we'll have to go back there once we get a hoi pair. A hoi pair. A hoi pair. And pieces of bait. It's 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 far too clever for me. <laughs> it's it's too, far too clever. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. This game too many jokes. It's too funny. Ah, uh, looks like these both have Ladders, which is nice. It's a little bit of a difference from the last few out lookouts we've gone to. So let's head on up. And I might also take out the cannons, so let's get out bombs. I don't think I need anything else. Right? I've got 66 troy pendants. That's pretty good. I've already done the feathers, gold feathers reward. Oh, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't break, don't, don't break, don't break me. <laughs> don't, don't break me. Okay, you're gone. You're gone. Might as well just take you out anyway. Oh, hey, there's a switch here. And guess what? It makes the chest on the opposite side appear. I don't have to take out the cannons, I'm pretty sure, from memory. But I'm going to do it anyway, because otherwise they will gun me down. Take
take out you. So let's head on over to the other one then. Ah, Rain, my friend has returned. My friend. Uh oh, please don't. Please, no! Why? Oh my goodness, I have to climb up again. Here we go. Please, 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 thank you. Okay, let's get rid of you. You. Let's get rid of you. And let's get rid of you, please. Ah! I don't know how I did that, but it was interesting. Also, if we hit this switch here, guess what? Treasure chest on the other side. It looks like a good treasure chest, though. So I'm okay with that. I've played Sea of Thieves. I know that there's a difference between different types of treasure chests. If it looks good, it means it looks good. <laughs> and also, it's possibly worth more, maybe. Just gonna destroy all the cannons. It's so nice knowing that you can just blow them up from up here instead of having to go down there and shoot at them manually. And also have them shooting back while you're trying to do that. Did I miss? I missed. I have to make sure I get every single one of them. There we go. The seas are going to be much safer after I'm done here. Now, let's go get this other reward here. Which is probably going to be... If it's a treasure chart, it's going to be the third one from this block of the map. That'll be impressive. Not to mention that there's also the, the the salvage ship people there that you could also get a treasure chart from if it was your first time talking to them. Oh my goodness, so many treasure charts. I guess that's a good thing though because we have still have plenty of places we haven't gone yet and plenty of places we have gone, which means it's gonna make everything easier. Where? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The luck is incredible. I'm pretty sure the, the true charts are all randomly shuffled between them. I think, probably. Well, anyway, the good news is that that one's for outset, which is right here, and I need to get a hoi pair, so it's perfect. It's incredibly perfect. Um, okay. What's north of here? I think it's, uh... I think it's the the reef there that I need to check out. I could also drink my remainder of the grandmother's soup. Quite possibly. Okay, I'm gonna get beetle first. Stop, 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 stop. It's fine. Just gonna take this last momentum over here. And now get out. Don't drive into me, please, beetle. I know what you're trying to do. I've seen Scarlet Sword. You'd run me over in a heartbeat. <laughs> Just drop my your house on me. Okay, let's buy this. 26 points saved up. I might buy another one if I don't think I have any space for it. Nope, that's a shame. I have one shot. Otherwise, I need to come back here. And I think I don't have any more space for bombs, so I'm out of here. Okay. Let's see if I can make this worth it. Also, where'd the thing go? The glowing, glowing. Oh, it's over there. That works. Let's just sail right over here. Three, two, one. Stop. We can use the shadows. I, I'm sure I overshot that. Nope, apparently not. We can kind of use the shadows to work out where, it, where its general area is, so... And we get... An orange rupee. I can give it back to grandmother now. Um, do I have a chart for the island next to me? That is my question right now. I don't think I do yet, which is unfortunate. That's okay. We'll have to spend some time cleaning up islands at some point, so. Since they're all, all over the place. Where's that? Have I been there? Something tells me no, but I'm... ...wondering. Ah, 
Oh, I know where that is. Never mind. It's not anywhere we've been yet. Okay. Uh, let's probably head back to Needlepoint. Which will become very obvious when I'm heading in the right direction because it's so tall. Actually, is there anywhere it possibly be faster to use the Great Fish Isle warp? Maybe? But I don't know how much better it would be. Man, it's nice sailing in clear skies somewhat during the day. It feels like it's been a little bit. It probably hasn't, but it looks nice to sail at the moment. Wish there was a way to disable the on-screen stuff, just to look around. It's going to sunset as soon as I'm looking around like this. I mean, it's not terrible. But still. Now that isn't- that's- that's- that's what I want painted and put on my wall. Oh my goodness, yes. Good colors. Just Link sailing that way. Ah. Uh, that's probably a better angle you could get, but still. Just with the sunset right there. Wow, that trip was faster than I was expecting. But I should really, really realize by now that I have the swift sail. It makes everything way better. Now let's see if we can get this. First try, maybe? Nope. First try, maybe? <laughs> the first, the other one was a practice run. Doesn't count. I got it. First try. And we get another silver rupee. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna need more rupees for. I have quite a few. Oh my goodness! I just remembered something. Uh, also, can I get that before you die? Thank you. For one thing, I remembered. There was... I think, possibly still... Treasure charts. In the... What's it called? The... The... Bidding. The auction. So possibly I need to go back there. And spend more rupees. For another tr treasure chart. Possibly? I don't know. But anyway. Let's use a hoi pair and fly up using the A button. Just mash that. We can also use the control stick to aim further up. But we need to be careful not to get hit by anything. Otherwise we will lose control. Of the seagull. And that will be bad. But we need to hit. The switch up here. With the seagull. And then we can just return. Using the ZR button. So let's open up this treasure chest. Piece of heart. Or something else? Maybe? Pizza! Okay. I almost got to another... Life thing. Life thing, you know, life thing. Also, can I break that pot? Yes, I can. That's a big rupee. Wow. Why do you... Why do you do this? I don't think they are worth as much effort as they seem to be. I can't even... I can't even... What is the point? Hang on. Hang on, what? Is this really how- is this- is this really how this is designed? Is this- is this really? It- it goes under the water when you're close to it when it's in a pot, but when you're close to it when the rupee's out, it just gives it to you. I'm confused and concerned. Let's head north. And I think I can pause. Hang on. I'm not crazy, am I? Let me... Go back to one. So I can start going through these. No, okay. Not that one. No, okay. I thought for a second that we might have the mother and child Isles chart, but we don't. Uh, I might actually head over to the east here, to this next island that we haven't done yet. Uh, but there's also a tr Triforce chart, apparently, over this way. That we'll need to get. And also, one of the treasure charts that we just looked at is for this island over here, so. 
We can also get that while we're over here. Also, uh, look out. So let's do that as well. It may be a submarine, if I'm not completely crazy. I think I might just be getting confused with the island itself being what it is. That's okay, though. Let's get out. Let's head on up here to see what's gonna what it's gonna give me. It could give me anything. What is happening? I hear that. I'm concerned. Goodbye. How did I miss? Okay, that stuns them. That's not extremely helpful, but it's something. It's doing something. Ow. Good. Please. Thank you. Okay. Why is this outpost not burning down? I don't know. But it's, it's pretty, pretty good, so... Skull necklace. It's also kind of cool that the... Enemies in this game have the lookouts, especially because that that concept was kind of reused for Breath of the Wild, with their little camps and all that. It's just cool the progression and just what was kept and reused in different Zelda games. Anyway, let's also get everything else that's here, which is a few things apparently. Oh, bait. I <laughs> almost went right past it, but it's okay. Because we got it. Hoist more fry. Islet of Steel. Tell me, small fry, have you ever heard of the fabled set of triumph forks? Well, it's right there, my young fry, on that island. You know, a chart showing where you find- where to find them? Of course, getting it's hard- the hard part. I- I don't think that's the correct grammar. <laughs> getting it's the hard- Getting it- Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And that's all I've got to offer. Okay, cool. Just ruining my brain and then leaving. Seems like a fair move. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Go, 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 go. Got it. First try. While I'm being shot at by cannons. And gunboats. They won't mind. <laughs> Silver rupee. Very nice. Ah. Ah. Also, they're shooting each other. That's funny. Because they can't. Miss. Also, there's a gunboat in the entrance way to where we're trying to go right now. So let's try and shoot that down. There's a lot of slowdown right now. I mean a lot. So let's quickly get in here. With the boat. And now we are inside. This little spot. And it's a good thing for us because... I, I don't know how good it is, but you know. There's a uh, rupees here. In these pots, which is good. Also hearts, apparently. But, lots of good rupees, so. Let's play the Wind's Requiem, I believe that's what it's called. I can't remember. And we get... A treasure chest. This is actually a really cool place. This is really cool, I like, like the design of it. Especially with the... Hyrule emb emblem behind it. Triforce chart. Have to decipher it. This place is really cool. Anyway, enough thinking this place is cool. Let's go somewhere else. And I think I've actually... Oh my goodness. Can't sail in here. I think I've actually got everything on this chunk. This little block of the world, so. That's pretty good. Let's go. Now, where should I go to, actually? I could go down south. What's... I think it's a reef, though. Which will take a little bit of time, but that's okay. I have time. But not right now, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.